<clears throat> and finally, finally, pretty close to finally. Yeah. <laughs> Ephesians chapter four, verse eight. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it? But that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Why? For the perfecting, maturing of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying, the building up of the body of Christ until we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, knowing what Jesus knew, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Now, you hear that? That's your goal. That's your destination, that you grow up into his fullness, that you walk like him, talk like him, act like him, that you recognize there is no such thing as lack for you. There's no such thing as lack of power. There's no such thing as lack of knowledge. No such thing as lack of understanding. No such thing as lack of provision. Why? You just live in this world. You live. Listen, whenever an ambassador goes to another nation, die, get out of the way. <laughs> whenever an ambassador goes to another nation, he doesn't live like that nation. He lives like the nation he came from. What? What's going on in heaven? Life. Abundance, amen? amen. Heaven ain't barely getting by. See, but you have to understand, you have to switch. Imagine, imagine you right where you are right now in every area of life, and, and somebody comes along and says, I'm making you an ambassador to Haiti. I'm making you an ambassador to Brazil. I'm making you an ambassador to one of these countries. How fast are you going to have to change? your mindset. You're going to walk into Haiti and act like Haitians? Why? One of the poorest nations on the earth still, at least in the Western Hemisphere? You're going to walk in there? Yeah, I know what it's like. Yeah, it's tough. Why? You may have come from poverty, but the minute you were named an ambassador, bless God, all your needs were met according to his riches and glory. Everything. There's no lack of supply. There's nothing going without, but yet you might still have that poverty mindset. You might still have that that civilian mindset when you're actually an ambassador and an ambassador has every need met. Why? Because you represent a kingdom. And people see the kingdom based on how you live, based on how you talk. Well, things are tough. Well, we're going to have to cut back. We're, okay, that's not heaven talk. When heaven hears there's going to be shortages, what does it say? No, no, no. Do more. Do more. Amen? That's the way heaven thinks. You've got to change your mind and think like Jesus and think, what shortage? Oh, yeah, then we're going to have this depression, recession, whatever it is. Well, like Jesse Duplant says, no, thank you. I'm not going to participate. <laughs> Amen? Why? Because that's not from heaven. Amen? So he says <clears throat> that we henceforth, from now on, be no more children. What does that mean? Carnal, 1 Corinthians. Babes in Christ, quit being like that. Quit letting your body, quit letting your circumstances tell you. Tossed to and fro, carried about every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. And we could go on because there's a lot more here. <clears throat> but bottom line is this. At some point, at some point, you're going to have to realize you are the reservoir. You're the place where that well of the Spirit of God is in and flowing up and out of, and that those rivers of living water are coming out of, that you don't have to run to and fro. You don't have to run all over the place carrying your bucket so you can go fill up at somebody else's well. You've got a well. You've got rivers in you. And whenever you realize that and you start letting those rivers out to bless other people, all of a sudden you'll realize how blessed you are because it will show up because you have been blessed with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. That's you. I had to believe this for me. Every believer has to believe it for themselves if they're going to live in and of themselves for God and not live off of someone else's 
river. Amen? God never intended for you to have to go to somebody else. He wants to be your El Shaddai. He doesn't want any of anybody else or anything else or any institution or organization to be your El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough. He wants you to realize that you have a connection with him. Amen?